So standing for your feet underneath your hips. Spread your toes, ground down. Okay, we'll just close your eyes, take your balance equally both sides of your body. So just feel where you're, you're swaying to the left, sway to the right. And find your center point. Inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears, keep those eyes closed, exhale, circle them back and down. I want you to do that four or five times just through your breath. You get it's a pattern of breathing. Advance the breath every time. Go a little bit deeper through the inhale, breath out through the mouth. And then just let your arms hang, drop your chin towards your chest, bend your knees quite a lot, and then just squeezing through your belly, roll down towards the floor. So a complete rolling motion, flexing the spine. You'll feel your weight going a little bit further into your toes, let your hands hang to the ground, and let yourself just sway side to side. into center, take hold of your big toes. So bend your knees enough to grab your toes. Inhale, bend your knees, keeping your bottom back behind. So if you're going into a squat and then lift your eye gaze and pull your shoulders back, creating a flat back through the spine. So use the mirrors as an opportunity. You should be able to quite happily sit a drink on the back of the spine without it falling off. Exhale, step the neck. Hold on your Now look towards me. Bend and extend, swaying your hips side to side. So move, mobilize and wake up those hamstrings. Keep going. Drop your chin to your chest. Push the pressure quite strongly. Stay there for a bit. So bend and extend, lift one hip up higher than the other side. <clears throat> Then come back to center, keeping hold of those big toes again. Dip your bottom down to a squat, eye gaze up, lengthen, squeeze the belly. Now make sure these knees are not closing, make sure they're equally not opening up too wide. Lift, lift, lift. Push your body weight back into your heels. And then extend, drop down. Lengthen up to the back of the knee, bend and extend, sway side to side again. Just enjoy this wonderful feeling that we are doing right now. It should be pleasant. Right, we're going to go one more time. Take a breath in, bend those knees, stick your bottom back behind. This time, if you can, arms forward, if you can. Flat back, lift the arms up towards the ears, relax the shoulders. Look at the mirror, chest higher than hips. Drop your bottom into your chest, drop your bottom into your chest. And press 10, 9, 8. Again, don't let these knees fall together. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, to the floor. Fingertips down, extend those legs. Take your hands slightly in front, lean into your hand and push the backs of the knees away. Heels flat on the ground. Push those knees into extension. Should feel nice, yes? Okay, continue a little walk forward slowly. We're transitioning into a plank. You roll the hips down. Find that central position. And then just simply imagine someone's just tied a piece of rope to the base of your spine and it's lifted up and it's dropping down. And it's lifted up, dropping down. Two, up. And then have a look at my feet. I'm coming up on the tips of my toes, dropping back into my heels. Five more. Four. Three. Lift those hips. Two. Four more. And one. Drop your knees. Quickly sit back. Drop your elbows to the ground. Head and chest towards the floor. As far back as you can possibly go, just relaxing through your lower back, hips and knees. Alternatively, you can just be here, taking a curve. Come 
from with your fingertips. Lift your bottom away from your heels. So your hips are beneath above your uh, knees. And then stretch down. Beautiful stretch down the side of your back, lats. Get your nose to the floor, fingertips beautifully extended. Melt the chest and lift your bottom high. Let your spine extend. You should enjoy that. Elbows off the ground, eyes. My elbows aren't touching. And then walk your hands in. One more time, curve that spine onto a cat stretch. And then straighten out, neutral. Okay, left leg, take it out, behind, and reach up. Right arm forward. Creating your straight. Use the mirrors, yeah, they're there for a reason. Why don't you look at your technique and why don't you look at your alignment? We inhale to begin, reaching through the fingers and toes. And we exhale, curl under, elbow to knee, tuck in. And inhale, lengthen away again. Exhale, tuck in. Keep it going. Four more of these, reach away, curl it. Remember that curl is only controlled through your tummy muscles. So you need to fill that scooping sensation through the abs. Two more. Last one, hold the extension please. Lift, reach, and hold. Ten little presses. Nine. Mobilize your shoulders. Keep the knee dead straight. Four, three, two. Drop the hand. Bend the knee. So now that knee is up in line with your hip bone. Don't let it drop down here. Keep it high. Extend the leg away. Bend the knee in for one, two, three, four. So now your right buttock should be starting to go a little bit of movement down there. Six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Lift that up a little bit higher and just press. Little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. Get it up higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Swing it out, open it, pull it knee round, hold it up. 10, nine, eight, seven. Use your tummy muscles. Four, three, look at me, extend the leg away and pop that foot down on the floor. Roll up. Just gonna face the camera, okay? Turn your toes out to the side. Trying to keep this hip pointing forward. Turn from your waist and drop down into that leg. So you might have your fingertips just in front of the leg and get your left foot around the outside of that foot and then just drop your head and check it down. Toe pointed, knees like your bed. Stay there, take a breath. Uh, I nearly popped something down there. Uh, okay, go a little bit deeper. Try and straighten your knees a little bit more. Try and pin the toes to the floor a little bit more. So we begin to move out of this stretch, come back into the center. Drop down onto your right elbow. Take your left arm out wide. Very close to the camera today. Okay, so we're leaning into that right buttock. Big toes pressing to the ground. It's just slightly light on that ground. We lift the leg up. We drop the leg back down for one. Up, down for two. Now, this foot is directly to the outside of my hip. If you get tired, it starts to creep away and take itself behind. Try and keep it where it is. Eight. Now your right buttock should be feeling that. Yes? No? no. Silence? No, just do my left leg. Yeah. 13, good. 14, 15, 5, 
four, three, just tap it down, hold it up, get it higher, let's go, 10, <laughs> nine, if it's too much, reduce the range, bend the knee, four, three, two, and one, drop it down, now, slide it away from you, as far away from you as it go, take your right knee wide, turn your feet out, drop to your elbows on both sides, and push your hips back and down. Huh? <laughs> what was that? So we want to get the um, outer edge of your left foot grounded. And then walk your elbows in towards you and push your hips back and down. So we want this to be borderline pain, but not pain. Very, very uncomfortable. Yes? In the feet down, outside edge of the foot, into the ground. Come on, push it down. That board runs a bit closer than I expected. <laughs> Breathe. Oh, just... Come on, guys, sink, sink back a little bit more. It's intense stretch. Obviously, not snap. It won't snap. So be like careful with it. Bring yourself up into your hands. Slide in a little bit. Stay on your hands. Take your hands for a walk over to the right side and then lean in and lift that leg up. I'm actually going to turn this angle now. <coughs> lift that leg up, swing it around, tap it, squaring off the hips. Lift it up, swing it around, tap it to the outside. Mobilizing. We're doing things that our legs and body don't want to do. <coughs> and you can do this for reduced range. You can lift the knee up, you can drop it just simply there, lift it all the way up and drop it around there. I'd rather you did it with as much suck, um, with as much, um, sorry, that's something wrong there. Moving the hip correctly rather than putting too much range in, your muscle not being able to take it, and you end up kind of doing something completely different. Okay, three more. Tap. Tap. Up and over, tap. Lift it up, come on, high. Use your core. And then we tap out to the side one more time. Take a quick breath in. Lift that leg for the last time. Little circles. Eight, seven, nasty, nasty. Five, four, three, two. Other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it in. Sit it back. Hands by the side of you. Drop down. Curl yourself in the little ball. Grab your heels. And pull your bottom into your heels if you drop your head and chest to the floor. Get yourself into a tiny little hole, as small as you can. <coughs> She's been with today, Tom. We haven't yeah. exercised for a while. Begin to bring your hands forward. Okay, take the emphasis out of the buttocks and the legs into the arms. Lift yourself up into your hands and knees. Okay, I want you to all stay in box position. We're not going to make this any harder. I want you to lift your left leg and drop down into a tricep dip 10 times, just that left leg up in the air. Down, power up. Down, power up. So with tricep, it's a rock <coughs> forward, the elbows come into the waistline and then you push all the way back up. The leg is strong, stays lengthened, it just comes from the rest of the body. If it's too much, please do drop the knee and then reduce the range. If that's still too much, just rock forward a tiny bit and push it all the way back. When you've done 10, hold that leg up at the top with your arms still extended. Hold it. Drop forward one more time, go halfway this time, and pass. 10, 9, 8, elbows in, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, release. Tuck your toes under, sit back into your heels, take a little stretch through the feet. Get a stretch into your toes, the arches. Just 
too much, you can just lightly lean into the hands and just push back at a time. If you want more, lean into your fingers behind and just lift your chest. Pull your knees together. So nice foot open over you, um, quite a lot of crap in your feet. Bring your hands forward, free your feet, slide them slowly, and then look up. Right, we're still staying on this left side, and we're going to take some to wonderful, quite lot holding stretch. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog position. Take a knee bend either side, and let the hips wriggle side to side, pushing your heel down towards the floor, feeling that wonderful stretch in the hamstrings again. Now, it's very important that your spine position is correct with this. So I want you to bend both your knees a lot. Stay with that knee bend, but then lift your bottom. And as you do, feel your spine extending your chest <coughs> down towards the thighs. And then straighten your legs from there. Okay, left side again. Lift your left leg up behind you. Look forward between the hands. We bring that knee forward, we tuck it under, and we hold <coughs> for one. Kick the leg away, lift it high. So my right knee never bends, it rolls onto the tip of the toes, and then it kicks back up again. Come forward for three. Forward four, lift up. Forward for four, scoop that belly in, in that wonderful plank position. And so we're doing eight of these, forward for five. And lift up, forward for six. Forward for seven, you know me, we're gonna hold that last one. So pull the knee forward, hold, pause, 10 second pause. Use this opportunity to use your app, pull the thigh towards your chest. Pull the knee forward. Three, two, drop the leg. So, you drop the leg, move the knee over, move the foot over. So we're trying to get the foot underneath our right hip bone. Pigeon. Slide your right leg as far back as possible. And sit tall. Now, try not to lean into that bottom, but also, also try to lean into the right hip. Stay beautifully upright. So you should be able to just lift your arms. <coughs> Absolutely balanced. And then drop down from you find that stretch. Now, niggly knees and hips, you just come into uh, <coughs> an easy hurdle. You lean into that left buttock, you pull the foot up. You use your right hand and then you lean forward towards that shin. That's your other option. The right knee can pull in slightly. Otherwise, stay up and pigeon. Breathe into that left glute, that left buttock. So this is the one stretch we hold for a long period of time. Very, very good to stretch this area, freeze the lower back, have to fight this in your lower back. All channels around the hip area as well. Now I want you to just come up onto your hands. Bend your back knee, left hand in front, swing your right hand around to the top of your leg. Pull the heel in. And then if you can catch the foot, just drive the heel closer in and turn your hip and shoulders to the front of your mat. Option is if you're a seated hurdle, you can catch it here. You're still going to get a tight stiff still stretch here. And then you can maybe come up with a pigeon from there. Yeah? That's your kind of other stretch. Heel into bottom. If you're going to see hurdle, turn away from that knee. So what should be stretching there? It's all like a bit of the right hand side. What? Yeah, that's all I can do. Nothing. Sweet, nothing. Okay, okay. And release. Hands to the right. Lift your body weight up. 
Walk your hands into your feet. Relax, soften the knees, let yourself hang again. You want your lower back to feel this more than anything. Roll up slowly. Okay, close your eyes again. Get your balance on both sides equally. Roll your shoulders. All right, we're going to do the right side now, right? Inhale, chin to chest, roll down. Grab your big toes. Dip your hips, come into that squat position. Push your body weight into your heels. Arms swing forwards, get as low as you can in that squat. Use the mirrors. Now, chest is always part of the hips. Let's press. 10, 9, a little bit more movement this time. Guys, lift your chest higher, drop your bottoms lower, push your weight back into your heels. Three, two, and to the floor. Fingertips down, walk forward slightly, and then push the legs straight behind you, leaning into your hands. So take all the weight into your fingers, your heels are flat on the floor, and then you push your legs straight. Come on, bring your hands a bit closer to your feet, and then push your heels to the floor, and straight in the middle. Just like that. Okay, we're going to take a little walk back to that plank again. So earlier on, when we started this plank positioning, we did little hip lifts up and down. This time, you're going to do feet rolls. So drop down and push your body weight all the way back into your heels. Now, have a look at your alignment. Make sure you're in plank. Okay, inhale. Roll right onto the tips of those toes, shoulders over wrists, and exhale, push back into the heels. So your hips don't lift up and down, make your body weight just rolls, and then come back down. And use this opportunity to stretch. Option, if this is too tough, you push your bottom back, you drop down into a half plank. Simple as that. Push your bottom back, drop down into a half plank. Four more. Breathe. Last two. One more. Good. Drop your knees to the ground. Hands under shoulders. Lift your eye gaze into your bottom. Curve as well. Any pain in the wrist, you just turn your hands around and do a quick stretch here. Just releases the flexion. Again, an unpleasant stretch, not meant to be nice. Turn your hands back around, take your right leg up behind you, straight line. Left arm reach. So get beautiful alignment from the fingertips to the toes. We breathe in to begin, exhale, let's cut it over. Scooping in and lengthening away the knees. Exhale. Going, inhale, reach. Under for four. And remember, you have to squeeze that belly in tight to get that beautiful curve through the body. Excellent. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine. Last tuck under, then reach away. Let's press 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hand only down. Bend that knee in. Lift the knee so it lines up with the hip bone. And then squeeze the heel into the bottom so you activate your hamstring. We lengthen away as we exhale, we inhale, curl it. Good, Just make sure if you're down here, the knee doesn't drop down with you, it stays up high, level with the hip. Last one. Hold here, squeeze it in, and it pumps the buttocks. Down. Good. 
nine, tummy muscles, don't let your lower back dip, be very aware of that, three, two, and one, turn it out to the side, lift it up, and then press it up, little movements, just to get a little bit more mobilization, squeeze, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, higher, four, three, two, hold, extend the weight, and pop the leg down to the floor. Roll up so you're above your hip. Turn your toes out to the side. Keeping that hip bone there, just turn from the waist and drop down into the stretch. So try and get your toes to the ground. That's half of that door. Just a block if you need to. And just reach down. Get a little bit more length through the knee. Get the toes to the ground. Try and straighten the leg. I know that's nothing. It's not a big leg on all of you. Okay, ease up, roll up. Bring your hands down to the ground and drop your left elbow. Take your right hand out to the side. Okay, so let's look again. Right, you ready? Big toe gently leaning onto the floor. Tummy needs to be engaged. We exhale, lift it up, tap it back down for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, lift, 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 let's press, 10, 9, get that leg beautifully straight, don't let it creep behind you, right in line with those hips, 4, 3, 2, hold it, and gently drop it to the floor, slide the leg away, take your left knee wide, turn your foot out, sink down, stretch the hip. So your legs need to be as wide as possible. So that left knee needs to be right away from the rest of your body. Foot look, turns out and lines up with the ankle. Your right foot is pressed down to the ground, push the hips back and down, go. But you might find the side worse. I know that, let's do some adjusting. <laughs> Let's get those bottoms back a little bit more. Let's get those hips down a little bit more. I'm not doing anything this way. Take a long deep breath in, relax through the shoulders, and sink back for the very last time. Now we're going to come back up onto our hands, slide the left knee in a little bit. And that leg stays out. Soften through the elbows, lean into that left side, lift that leg up, back around, tap it down for one. Lift it all the way back up, tap it down for two. So that should feel a lot more freer. Now it's done that every time you old stretch. Five. Remember you can make your lever half the range. And out for seven. Square off, out for eight, last two, last one, and then lift it up, drop it back in this time. Come back into child's pose, take your hands behind your heels, grab hold, pop yourself in. We can do circles this way, didn't we? Come back up, take that leg back out, lift it back up, quick, 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 let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, come on, get them higher, and reverse them, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, bigger, more up towards the mirrors, and now release them down. Tuck your toes, lift up, downward facing dog. 
walk through the legs and this all that pain go away emotion as well <laughs> yes bend the knees sink your head and chest down lengthen the spine lift your bottom up towards the sky then straighten your legs stretch back to those legs take a breath in lift the right leg up high Keep the left leg dead straight. We're going to roll on those toes. Come forward. Pull the knee in. Plank. Push up and away. Extend. Right. Put your elbows. The elbows are here. You just drop your knee so you'll be a little bit higher up in the hips. Keep the movement going. So, guys, go and bend that left knee dead straight. Roll on the toes. Roll all the way back. In towards the heel, then roll all the way forward into the knee. So look at my left foot. I'm rolling on the tips of the toes. I pull the knee in. I push it back into the heels. I kick my leg up. What are we on? We've got two more. Yeah. Get that leg up. Everyone together. Come forward and hold here. Hold. Plank position. Come on. Plank position. Five. Four. Scoop the belly in. Lift the thigh. And put it down. Okay, pigeon on this side. Knee over to the right side, foot over to the left side. Sit equally on your hips. Sit tall. So don't lean one way or the other. Unless you turn to the pedal and then drop down. So you can sit in pedal, bend that left knee a little bit, take the foot, and then just drop over towards that foot using your arm. You've got a good three breaths here, just really let the body go. So when you come to final breath, just lean into your buttocks, swing your feet around and bring yourself down to the floor. We've got three exercises to do, lying on our backs. One of them is kind of three exercises in one as well, so that's kind of like in my encounter. Okay, arms just relax down by your side, or you can take a T-shape, or you can stand behind the back of your head, whatever's comfortable. Legs to tabletop. Okay, look towards me. I'm going to slide my right leg forward, so my left foot just runs a line to the shin. Drop my legs down, lift my legs up, and return to tabletop. So my left leg extends. I drop down, I lift up, I slide it back. Okay? If you don't want to drop down all the way there, you can go halfway. Or you might just want to slide the leg out and slide the leg in instead. Listen to your body. It's pure tummy muscles. This is not your lower back. That's what you need to listen to. If you want more, you can start with your legs extended slightly away from the ceiling and then bend one knee drop it down, lift it up, and extend away. Bend, drop down, lift up, extend away. Yeah, that's your other option. So four more. Two more. Last one. Now pop your toes to the floor, keep your heels off. So you're just leaning on your toes. Slide your fingertips to the side of the head, pop into a crunch. Pulse your crunch. So all you're doing is now focusing on your upper abs, still controlling the stabilization through your pelvis by pulling your lower belly in tight. Open the elbows. Reach the outsides of your knees and let's get higher. Reach 
reach, reach. Stay high the whole time. Don't go down. This is little pulses at the very top. Now see if you can reach up to the top of the kneecaps. Go higher. Faster movements. Come on, work it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 sides of the knees. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, reach higher. 5, 4, 3, 2, to the sides of the head. 10, 9, can it in. Come on, fold yourself in half. 5, 4, 3, 2, and release. Arms down by the side, palms down, turn down, legs up into the sky. Okay, fast, scissors, cross scissors, halfway down, all the way back up, or three quarters of the way down if your lower backs allow you to. Or you can just stay at the top if it's better for you and just reduce the range there. Just move up and down through your own breath. Come on, work, work, tight as those tummy muscles. Point the toes. Keep the knees very slightly bent. Four more. Let's speed up the crisscross. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep the control. Last two guys. Let's see if we get these legs a little bit lower. Lower, lower, lower. You're not finishing till I tell you to. Last one. All the way down if you can. All the way up. And then hug your knees, holding your hand on the knee. The right hand knee, left hand knee. Open your knees wide, take it roll. Tuck the knees towards your armpits. Push your bottom down to the ground. Hold here. Feet wide, knees wide, guys. Take your feet wide and your knees. Like open the legs tightly and then pull the thighs. If you're pulling your knees towards your armpits. Feet totally relaxed, doing nothing. Pop your feet down off the ground, stay wide. Line your feet up with the edges of your mat. Open the knees. Take a breath in, exhale, roll up into a bridge. We inhale, brush the floor. Exhale, left thigh, left hip, lift. We sway the hips over to the left and up high to the left. We inhale, sway the hips, brushing the floor as we drop into the center, right side, squeeze up the right button, lift the right hip up. Inhale, brush the floor and to the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, brush the floor. So just enjoy that sway sensation. On your next way to the left, lift that left hip bone up, squeeze that left hip, uh, left buttock and pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven. Let your right buttock just relax, that's it. Last three, two, one. Drop down in the center, sway up to the right side, and let's go. Press, press. Use the thigh. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the center, lift up in the middle, and 10 at the top. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold there as we breathe in. Exhale, very slowly roll out. Let the knees fall over to the right. Pop the right foot on top of that left knee and take a wonderful stretch, perhaps open the left arm lightly to the side. With that right foot and just gently roll over to the other side. So let's go left foot on right knee and right arm wide slightly and just stretch there.
release that foot, just rock back into the center. Pull the knees in, slide your hands around the back of the thighs. Take a little hug. Lift the chin, roll yourself up, spin around onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and simply walk your hands, your feet, keep your hands, and up in the middle somewhere. And then let your body hang, hold onto your elbows, and just take a little sway, very gentle and slow sway side to side. Bend your knees enough so that your chest is almost on your thighs. And then as you release your hands, you're gonna grab hold of those toes one more time. You're going to keep your chest down, your chin tucked, and you're going to straighten out those legs as much as you possibly can. You should feel a little bit better than you did 45 minutes ago. So, yours have to stay slightly bent, yeah? And then drop your chest. Encourage your spine. So when you're ready in your own time, you can just free your hands from your feet, take your hands to the tops of the kneecaps and just roll up. Keep that curve and spike. Curve, 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 curve. Scooping in, scooping in, scooping in, stacking your spine, closing your eyes again. And then roll the shoulders and keep the hands back. Open those arms, open the palms, inhale, raise your arms up, bring your hands together. Bring your hands to your chest, take a little bow, take a little cup. Thank you so much.